Well, this all really started because Rabbi Jonathan and I started talking about the possibility of me doing a painting for the temple. He and Rabbi Beth Singer and I met and we had a wonderful conversation. And at that point, they suggested that a great subject would be uh, the, the Jewish year and the festivals of the Jewish year. I read a book at the rabbi's rec recommendation by Arthur Waskow called Seasons of Our Joy. And uh, he gave me the sort of theoretical, philosophical underpinning for the painting because he talks about this idea of the festivals throughout the course of the year uh, being a reiteration of the course of a day, the course of a week, and the course of a life. So the idea that you can have all these cycles going on at once. I, I really had this focus on winter to winter, darkness to light to darkness. Hanukkah really starts the painting on the far right. And then and on the left, you're still in darkness. From a pictorial point of view, darkness to darkness, you can't beat that. I think the big theme of the painting, frankly, is cycles. And you know, that obviously is, if you're thinking about the festivals and you're thinking about the progression of the year and the progression of a life, we're thinking about life cycle events of which I have several. I have birth, I have bar mitzvah, um, I have marriage, um, I have death. So life cycle events, the cycle of the seasons, and the seasons you know, start all over again. And then the festivals as part of the cycle within that. And then to further reinforce the idea of the symbolism of cycles, uh, I have this odd element, this odd sort of scroll element that comes all through the painting. And at times it all, all, almost disappears, at times it goes way off into the distance, at times it comes back, and it changes into different things. So in the spring panel, the, that scroll feature, uh, which starts at the very beginning of the painting with the sunrise, that scroll feature becomes a talit. Uh, and it's right underneath a branch of, of a tree, which is going from covered with snow into leaf and into flower. So symbolically representing spring. And you get bar mitzvah in the spring of your years. So then it goes back into being a scroll. It goes back uh, towards Mount Sinai, which is um, actually Mount Rainier in my painting. It seemed like a logical substitution. And it's covered by an almost realistic version of a particular cloud type, which only appears over Mount Rainier, called a lenticular cloud. But I've tried to jazz it up a little bit to represent the cloud which covered Moses on the occasion of his receiving the Ten Commandments. And so the scroll goes back there, and then it comes forward, and it turns into the chuppah. The chuppah is at the very center of the painting, and that's my favorite thing about the whole painting in terms of how the imagery came together in a way I think is sort of novel. Because, you know, obviously, I'm trying to do something which avoids the usual cliches. So there are no trees of life in the old-fashioned sense of a tree of life. There are no dancing rabbis. Uh, there is no, there is a menorah, but the menorah is very discreet, and some people might not even see it right away. But there are other symbols which, for me, are a different entry point, a different way of looking at the Jewish experience, the way Jews commemorate the life cycle events. And also, frankly, they're, you know, they're cool from an artistic point of view. The rabbis talked to me about how they saw the painting, how they saw the festival year, and how they saw uh, the temple as an institution. Temple Beth Am, um, after all, means house of the people. And they kept talking about this big tent or this welcoming. Uh, they kept talking about gateways, different gateways <laughs> into Judaism, different gateways into spirituality, different gateways into this Jewish communal life. And so I love the fact that the chuppah is both a gateway and 
the way I've, I've composed it in the painting, it looks very, it, it, it sort of reminds people of a Japanese gate. Uh, so it's a gateway, it's also, it's a symbolic house with the four posts um, held by four, you know, four, four important people in your life and you get married in this temporary house and then you pass through it to the rest of your life. I'm standing in front of this magnificent painting that we're so proud and grateful to have here at Temple Beth Am. In so many ways, we try to tell the Jewish story. And many people see it as an ancient story. And it is ancient, but it's as ancient as the seasons. It's a living story, a living Judaism. And that's exactly what Gary has expressed here, is an alive, vivacious expression of Jewish life through the uh, changing seasons and being able to take the symbols of each of our holidays that fall through those seasons and weave them into the life of the painting and in the life of Seattle with its wonderful expression of, of the beauty of the city and uh, of Jewish life is just astounding. I know that generations that come will be able to look at it and learn from it and rejoice in it.